summer is here and with it comes allergies and seasonal colds, which can lead to sinus infections that can disrupt your daily life. If you experience chronic or recurrent sinus infections and are looking for more lasting relief, there are new minimally invasive techniques to treat sinusitis. And joining us to share more about these innovative new treatment options are Palomar Health ear, nose and throat surgeon, Dr. Sarab Shah. Welcome. Thank you, Laura. Now, doctor, many folks avoid surgery at all costs. And for those experiencing sinus pain, pressure, or continuous infection, is there a less invasive way to treat these symptoms? In the last decade, I've done thousands of these procedures that we do in the office. It's very minimally invasive has very little bleeding. It's called balloon sinuplasty. And what we do is we open up the freeway of your nose, open up more lanes by ballooning them open, similar to a balloon angioplasty procedure. But in the office, it's very smooth. People love it. And Dr. Many patients have experienced extreme headaches and discomfort with minimal relief from over-the-counter treatments and decongestants. How does someone know if they're a good candidate for this procedure? So if you have chronic sinusitis, infections that last for over 12 consecutive weeks, they fail antibiotics, they fail nasal steroids, they fail rinses, that's a good time to come in and get checked out. Or if you have recurrent acute infections, more than four per year, and you seem to get triggered by every little thing and onto a big sinus infection that requires antibiotics, then taking an in-office, minimally invasive route can relieve you a lot of discomfort. And this in-office procedure is very manageable and covered by most insurance. That's right, because it's a lot less costly than full-blown sinus surgery. It gets people back on their feet quickly. We can do it for many people, even into their 90s if necessary, and that's one of the fun things for me. As a surgeon, whereas I really had to consider the complications of taking anyone over 80 into the operating room. Medicare loves this procedure because it's, it, it's effective for the older population. And if someone is experiencing difficulty breathing through their nose, what non-surgical treatment options might you have at your office? When you failed the sprays, such as Flonase or Nasonex, that come over the counter, and you can't breathe, you've tried Breathe Right strips, it doesn't work, that's a good time to come into the ENT because we can do procedures in the office that'll help the nasal valves, that'll straighten the septum. It can really get you breathing better. And now there's many minimally invasive ways to help out those kinds of obstructions. And if someone is experiencing a chronically runny nose, what are their treatment options? Right, so for the drippy nose, the nose that runs like a faucet, one of the new things that have come about is treating the posterior nasal nerve. Again, we can do that in the office either by freezing that nerve or doing radio frequency to that nerve and it kind of turns off the faucet, dries up that drippy nose. Now, many people with sleep apnea commonly experience discomfort using a CPAP machine. How can an ENT help? We can help make the CPAP machine more tolerable. By decreasing the obstruction in your nose, we can even transform you from having to have a full face mask to get, just getting nasal pillows. We can also look for oral appliances if you just can't tolerate CPAP at all. And tell us about your care philosophy and how you're taking the fear out of healthcare. So our goal is to make the world a better place one nose at a time. And we'd like to do that by caring for each and every patient individually feeling how they want us to shepherd them to health, whether it be through medications, whether it be through an office procedure, or whether it be through surgery. We have many different options that we can avail you of. And so if you're having trouble, that's our goal, to alleviate that obstruction. If you're looking for a way to breathe easier without surgery or medications, contact Palomar Health to determine the best way to find a lasting treatment option. For more information, visit palomarhealth.org. Dr. Shaw, we thank you so much for sharing these promising treatment options. Oh, thanks for having me, Laura. And we thank you for joining us on San Diego Living. We'll see you next time.